At this point, we have killed Ishtar's entire family in battle, so it stands to reason that she is somewhat upset. Ishtar leads Bohala to fight us, and she is a completely dangerous combatant, and there are very few units that can fight her safely, and I currently have none of those units. And this is because her Mjolnir Tome gives her a crazy amount of might, and while she does not have pursuit, she has a very high chance to activate adapt due to her incredible speed. Some trained units can just barely survive a single hit from her, and pretty much nobody can survive too. Ishtar is not very durable, but she also has a ton of avoid from her leadership bonus and high speed, so trying to kill her before she can attack is not particularly reliable. In a normal playthrough, you could just attack and then reload for a map save if you get a bad outcome, but in an Iron Man setting, I can't do that, which forces me to seek out more unconventional and indirect methods. So I decided to try something that I think very few people have ever tried before because it's too stupid and <laughs> unnecessary. I have Femina who failed to sacrifice herself for a momentary distraction against the Pegasus Knight trio fly down to do another distraction attempt. I have Femina fly to a peninsula at the coast north of Ohala, and simply by placing her there, Ishtar and her forces have been convinced to move upwards. So it seems that Ishtar's movement AI is not targeted towards her home castle or any other particular location, but rather simply towards the nearest target that she can attack. Since all my other forces are at my home castle very far away, Femina is much closer and Ishtar and her entire squad try to pursue her. But all I have to do is move Femina just one tile upwards, where their two range weapons cannot reach and then they just can't do anything to her. And so they decide to turn around and move towards my home castle, where all the remaining targets are. But once they move back down, I just place Femina back on the peninsula and their AI bloodlust demands that they move back up. In other words, I have discovered a nearly useless tactic that lets me infinitely distract Ishtar's forces so that they would never actually reach my home castle, giving me effectively infinite time to handle any preparations I need to do. Femina is not very strong, but she can get free attacks by diving in and then escaping back into the water with Kanto. By doing the peninsula dance over and over, I can wait until vulnerable enemies shuffle in. I have Febna swoop in to target the healers, but I have to gamble on lucky adept activations to kill them in one round before the other healers can heal them. But fortunately, I have all the time in the world. I keep repeating this process until all of the healers the Ishars employ are dead, and this allows me to proceed to the next step of my master plan. 